the new SafeX one-click miner has been released for the random SFX algorithm, allowing computer novices to easily start mining SafeX cache on their PCs. If you've been avoiding mining because you didn't have the confidence to set up XMREG and configure it, then the one-click miner is your ticket to getting started. Outlined in this tutorial video are all the steps you need to take in order to be mining SafeX cache in just a few minutes time. But first, a quick note on antivirus programs, AV programs. In the accompanying one-click miner blog article, you can find a short explanation on how many antivirus companies treat crypto mining software. We obviously can't explain the process for every single AV program on the market. So in this tutorial, we show what needs to be done with Windows Security, which comes free with your Windows operating system. If you have any other AV software installed, then you'll need to take the necessary steps to whitelist the one-click miner software. If for some reason you run multiple AV programs, then you need to do it for all of them. Let's begin. Start by disabling real-time AV scanning, just in case the AV software blocks the installation file from downloading. Go into Windows Security, Virus and Threat Detection and click on Manage Settings. Set the switch to off. Close the AV window, then open a browser and go to the GitHub release page for the one-click miner. You can find the link in the description. You'll see there are releases for Linux, Mac and Windows. Click on the Windows installation file and it will begin to download. Once completed, click on the downloaded file to run it. Because the software is only recently released, Windows Defender may throw a warning screen. If so, click on More Info and it will then display the publisher information for the file. Click Run Anyway and the software will install and automatically start at the end of the installation. Close down the miner for now, as we need to set an antivirus exclusion. We also want to set the one-click miner to run in administrator mode to get a higher hash rate. Right-click the desktop shortcut for the one-click miner and click Open File Location. A window will appear showing the install folder for the one-click miner. We will first set the program file to start in admin mode. Right-click the SafeX community miner file then click Properties. Click on the Compatibility tab and ensure there's a tick in the checkbox beside Run this program as an administrator. Then click Apply and OK to close the window. Back in the Installed Folder window, click to the right of the folder path and it will highlight the folder path. Now right click the folder path and click Copy. Open up your AV program again Go into Virus and Threat Protection, Manage Settings, and this time scroll down to Exclusions, and click on Add or Remove Exclusions. Click the Add an Exclusion button and select Folder from the drop-down list. Paste your copied folder path into the empty field, then click the Select Folder button. The new exclusion will appear. You can now turn real-time scanning back on in your AV program, and we can move on to starting the one-click miner. Double-click the one-click miner shortcut on your desktop, and if you correctly set it to run in admin mode, you'll get a Windows warning pop-up. But simply click Yes to launch the one-click miner. Copy your SafeX address from a text file or from your SafeX TWM wallet, and paste it into the SafeX address field of the miner. You can optionally add a miner name in the next field, although it isn't required, and then we come to the Mining Pools drop-down menu, which defaults to the official safex.org pool. You can leave it on the default pool and just hit the Start button to begin mining. The safex.org pool is based in Poland. However, depending on your location, you may want to choose a different pool. And the other three options in the drop-down are located in the Netherlands for Europe, Chicago for USA and Sydney for Australia. I'm choosing the Australian pool because I'm based in Australia. Once you've settled on your preferred mining pool, you can optionally change the CPU percentage if you don't want it mining at 100%, which is the default. Hit the Start button to begin mining. After about 10 to 15 seconds, a hash rate should appear. If it only shows loading and several dots on the hash rate line, it isn't mining. 
and it most likely has something to do with antivirus software interference. Either you didn't set the exclusion correctly, or perhaps you have another AV installation you forgot about. Technically, that's all you need to do, and SafeX Cash will come trickling into your wallet as your mining efforts reach the minimum payout level of the mining pool you selected. However, if you plan on accumulating those mining rewards in the long term to spend on purchasing goods on SafeX Market, then I recommend you increase the pool payout amount. Regardless of that, you may just want to check your mining progress on the pool website from time to time. Simply go to the mining pool website that you chose in the drop down, without the dots and the port number. For example, for safex.org pool you head to pool.safex.org. As I use the Australian pool, that's what I'll be using. So I head to aus.pool.safex.ninja in my web browser, and in the worker statistics page I enter my safex address into the field and click the lookup button on the right. All the information about my mining contributions to the pool then populate. As I've been mining to this pool with several mining rigs for some time, there's already a lot of data there. You can see that one-click miner name displays as undefined, even though I entered a miner name of SafeX OneClick. This is because I selected a SafeX Ninja pool, which requires an at symbol at the start of the miner name. So I stop the miner, change the miner name to at SafeX OneClick in the miner name field, then start the miner again. A few seconds later, the miner name appears correctly in the worker stats. Changing your mining pool payout is done in the settings page, and an article on the SafeX blog explains how you adjust the pool payout amount. Once again, we've added a link to the article in the description below. You may see a discrepancy between the hash rate showing in the one-click miner and what the mining pool sees it as. Generally, the reported hash rate will be about the same as the miner hash rate over the 24-hour average. The way pools calculate miner hash rate and many other aspects of mining are explained in that other article we just mentioned. The one-click miner is simply an easy-to-use GUI graphic user interface built on top of the regular XMRig mining software. So the references to XMRig in that mining pool article apply equally to the one-click miner. A final point to remember. Each time you launch the one-click miner software, you need to enter the information into the fields again before you start mining. If you don't select the same pool as you previously used, any accumulated SafeX cache in the old pool balance will be lost after a couple of weeks, as pools deactivate data from inactive miner addresses to save on server resources. If you want to change mining pools, do so when you have a negligible balance on the pool you're leaving, uh, just after you get a pool payout. That's all there is to the SafeX OneClick Miner, a simple, uncluttered interface that even a novice PC user can get installed and running to start mining SafeX Cache. Happy mining!